Hello everyone. Welcome to this third week of our stewardship campaign for 2020. This week we are looking at service. You remember the first week was looking at connecting, connecting with one another and building relationships with one another. And then last week we looked at growing our faith, growing our discipleship, growing our parish, growing the church. And we considered how we grow. We grow by giving. This week, as I said, we will look at service. How do we serve? You may have heard that funny little line, Catholics are meant to pay, pray and obey. They're meant to come to Mass, maybe pray the Rosary frequently, and at Mass, as the collection basket goes past, throw a few rands or coins into the, into the collection basket, and then listen to what Father says, obey what the Church says. That might be a bit humorous. We may smile at that. The sad thing is that for too many ordinary lay Catholic men and women, and also for too many clergy, that model is still what they think is expected of Catholic lay men and women. Dear friends, more than 50 years ago now, Pope John XXIII called the Second Vatican Council. And in that council, the bishops of the world looked at the place of the church in the world. The world was in need of the church. But the church needed to be able to respond effectively and efficiently in a relevant way to the needs of the world. At that conference, the gathering, that council, that gathering of bishops, they spoke of the lay apostolate. What is the lay apostolate? Apostles, if you remember, are those who are sent. Disciples who are sent out into the world. Sent out with a message, with a clear mandate to proclaim the gospel, to bring Jesus to others. Where do we get that mandate? From our baptism. This is our baptismal font in the church. Here, babies... Adults are baptized into the Catholic faith. And it is here they receive this special holy mandate to be apostles, disciples who are filled with God's Spirit and go out on the mission of the church to build and spread the gospel. We are in the habit of talking about lay ministry. Lay ministry has come to be seen as the service, the work lay Catholic men and women do around the church, like being sacristans, arranging flowers, being ministers of the word, ministers of Holy Communion, ministers of hospitality and welcome, catechists, all those are ministries and they are vital and valuable. But we can't only be thinking in those terms. We need to recapture that term from the Second Vatican Council, lay apostles. Our service is not just to help Father, not to just do the things Father wants us to do. No, 
Our service has a greater mission. It is the spread of the gospel. And that's what apostles do. And so, dear friends, as we make our way through this third week of our stewardship campaign, I ask you to consider how you are going to serve. How you are going to serve in the next year. We're called to be servants. How are you going to serve? But I ask too that as you think of that, you consider how your service will impact others. Impact them in such a way that they come to know and love Jesus Christ. And if you're able to do that, if we're all able to do it, we will have expanded our concept from lay ministry to lay apostolate. I hope that we can do that. If we can do nothing else this coming year, I hope we can do that. But we need everybody's buy-in. We need everybody to see how important this is. Because if we want to have others come to this font, if we want others to enter into the life of Jesus Christ that we receive here at this font, that you and I have received, then we have got to be people who are apostolic, missionary, outward focused, willing, enthusiastic, generous in serving others, especially those outside these walls. God bless. Have a great week. We see you soon. Bye-bye.